Hey guys, welcome to the Centurions Review. I'm Dave. And I'm Len. Today we will be reviewing what is a Struggle for the Throne Star Trek 3 from FASA. This was a micro game from the 1980s. Essentially what's going on is you're part of a Klingon house and there's, all the other players are part of Klingon houses and you're trying to completely eliminate your uh, allies so uh, you can take over after the Emperor dies. So. In order to win the game, you just uh, knock out your opponent, basically. And if your last person's standing, you're going to win. It has uh, counters that are kind of weird. The, the ship counters are triangles instead of regular square. And, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is they're so thin. I, instead of uh, concentrating on changing the shape of the counter, they should have just made the counter uh, thicker because they're really hard to pick up. But you start out with... Uh, a thought admiral and several different types of commanders. I think one's called the loyal commander and then you got regular commanders and you have squadrons and so on and so forth. And each turn you can do three actions. The actions are uh, either movement or you can do combat. To do combat if you're not in your home space you have to play an ambush card to do it. Otherwise if you're in your home space you can uh, declare combat at will. And so combat's another action too. And combat basically it's one sh one ship versus one ship at a time. So if you have five ships, and they have five ships in that hex. Uh, you'll have five individual fights, uh, unless you're the attacker and you decide to only do three. The defender has to match whatever you do. So, but there, there's another action you could spend called influence. With influence, you roll on the influence table. Actually, at first you'll if you have any influence cards in your hand, you'll play those, and then and then you roll on the influence table. And with that, you can either gain up to five units or lose up to three units, depending on how you rolled and how many influence cards you played. So uh, I did influence a few times. I think uh, one time I did well and I got like four units, and the other two or two times I did it, I think I lost a unit or two. So yeah, you, you never know what the result's going to be on that. But the rules are very simple and it plays quick. Uh, I mean, you can resolve if you know how to play this and you've played before, you can probably resolve a game in like 25 minutes if, if you're doing a two player version. I, I think uh, this game does two to six players. I'm sure with uh, six players it would be better. The two player is pretty good actually, but with six it would be even better because then you can uh, gang up on other players and stuff. And I think that's what a lot of the fun in the game is. What do you think of it? It's a nice beer and pretzels game. Yeah. It's it's simple enough to learn, uh, easy enough to play, and uh, got enough little details like the cards. And um, and the combat is real simple, even though it took a while for me to figure out what was going on. Mm -hmm. And give me an idea, was that at a certain point I was down to like two ships and Dave had five. So the next seven, eight turns I'm invading them. And I actually had a lot more fun in that part of the game than I did when, at the beginning. Mm. You know, every time I move I taunt him. And, but... It caught up with me. He he managed to bump off uh, one of my two ships, and then with my influence card, I lost the last one, and I totally lost. Yep. Yeah, and there's also, you can assassinate enemy commanders and stuff in this too, or try to uh, uh, sabotage squadrons and stuff. And these cards, there's a counter for it. So if you play like a assassinate commander, uh, th there's another card that, that can cancel that. And uh, as far as sabotage, I think Sabotaging a squadron, I don't think there was a counter, but there's a bunch of cards where there's a counter. There's so. a bribe counter. Yeah, counter yeah. The, bribe an commander. An outbid bribe. Yeah, an outbid bribe, yep. So, uh, yeah, it throws in enough little uh, changes so you just don't win from die rolls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, picking the right cards uh, and using them right, can, uh, you can win the game. Yep. I, I'd love to see this with, like... Uh, more than two uh, players. Yeah, I think with six it would be really good. Oh, yeah. And plus it would probably last longer than 25 minutes. You'd probably get an hour uh, out of the game. Yeah. But, yeah, I recommend it. Uh, do you recommend it? Yeah. Yeah, so if you see it on eBay, pick it up. Have a good evening.